Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean a steering wheel. Now there's a very good reason why I'm all cramped up in this Audi TT, because this car has not properly been cleaned since I bought it, and it's been about six months now. So I thought this would be an amazing opportunity to show you guys how I'd personally clean a steering wheel. Now we're gonna be cutting out all the scientific BS, because I just don't think it's that important at this stage. We just wanna be covering some of the basics, just so you know where to get started. So let me show you what you're going to need to get a clean steering wheel. Ideally you're going to need a decent leather cleaner like this one I've got here from Infinity Wax. I've got a soft brush, a medium stiffness brush, I have one scrub pad and I have two microfiber towels, one of which is slightly damp. Now we have the essentials, let's crack on. So the first thing you have to do before you even think about scrubbing is remove all the light dirt and dust. All we're going to use for this is a delicate soft brush and we're going to use a vacuum cleaner so we're going to just lightly flick it into the vacuum cleaner whilst it's on of course now there is a very good reason why we do this let's just say you do have dirt particles on the steering wheel here and you start scrubbing straight away what's going to happen is as you're scrubbing away you're going to get all that grit in between and it's going to become an abrasive so it is going to start attacking the steering wheel now that's not necessarily going to be a terrible thing if you're doing it as a one-off but let's just say you repeat the same action over and over again the problem is over a longer period of time, you are going to see some of that wear and tear. This dusting and hoovering method is something I commonly use on all parts of the interior, especially on the leather seats. With the dusting ticked off, we can now grab a scrub pad. And before we start using the scrub pad, it's important just to prime it first, which will soften it up. So all I'm doing here is scrubbing the steering wheel ever so lightly. We're just running it over, I'd say. I wouldn't say we're really scrubbing it as such. I think that's a word you would use if you're being very aggressive with it. So we just want to go over it at least once and see how that comes up. Because the thing is with leather, if you do start scrubbing it very hard to begin with, you could take off something that you really shouldn't because some of these old leather steering wheels are so weak and they've just deteriorated over time. The last thing you want to do is just start scrubbing heavily because that's when you take it off. And then you're just going to have to get it re-dyed, re-protected, and that's just going to cost you more money and more time. Now grab yourself a cloth and make it slightly damp with water. So now we're just going to take that damp towel and just dab it ever so gently. The last thing you really want to be doing is grabbing it like this. And I'm just going to give you an example. I don't care because it's my car, so whatever happens, happens. I see so many people just wrap the towel around it and just start pulling away and pulling away. And that's where you get loads of wear and tear damage, and it's just an awful thing to do. And I did see it a lot of the time when I used to work at the odd dealership now and then. With the basic surface dirt removed, we can now move on to the intricate areas. So this would be where all the stitching is. So I've got a medium stiffness brush here from Valet Pro. This is probably one of my favorites that I constantly use all the time. And the reason I like it is because there's so many bristles here that have been compacted together. So it's not too hard, it's not too soft, but they've just managed to get it so right. So whenever I clean these little bits here where the stitching is, it just foams up nicely with the leather cleaner and it literally just takes a matter of seconds and it just takes everything out. The agitation with a brush is more effective than a scrub pad in those tighter areas. And it's always wise to have a few different brushes as you never know what you may come across. And I will put links to everything used in this video in the description below. Again, we're just gonna take the damp towel and lightly dab it in the areas we just brushed. Now there is gonna be on some occasions where you are gonna to have to just go over it again and again until you get it right. You've just gotta be ever so careful. And that's why I say, just do it in stages, go nice and light each time. If you do need to scrub it a little bit more, just go over lightly. If you go too aggressive and you damage any of the leather, there really is no turning back at that point. One thing you might be asking is, what should I use on the plastic areas? Well, I'm actually just using the leather cleaner. If it's safe on leather, it's definitely gonna be safe on plastic. And I think that's an area a lot of people tend to miss. So they go from leather to then using an APC in the middle and they wonder why it looks a bit of a mess. This is just a nice and easy way of doing it. Don't overcomplicate it by using a million and one different chemicals. So I'm pretty sure some of you eagle-eyed viewers are gonna notice that this steering wheel doesn't have any buttons on it. It's probably one of the few cars in the universe that actually doesn't have any buttons at all on it, which is quite a nice thing actually. And you're probably thinking I'm cheating this video because I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna explain what happens when you clean these buttons out because I did a major mistake once. I cleaned a Range Rover, it was my father-in-law's. He said give it a steam clean. And because I was too lazy and I couldn't be bothered to use any chemical or do it properly, I just had the steam cleaner and I went psh, 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 psh. All of a sudden, when he turned the ignition on, the horn kept going off. 
And that was my fault. That was down to me using a steam cleaner, which I really shouldn't have done on the steering wheel. Now, let's be honest. In most cases, whenever you clean a steering wheel and you just use a few squirts like this, you're not really going to be doing any harm because ultimately you're going to be brushing it and you're going to be wiping it away pretty much in seconds. So apart from that one time, in the last 16 years that I've been doing this business, I've actually never caused any damage at all using the light sprayer chemicals. It was just unfortunate that I was using a steam cleaner on a Range Rover and we all know how terrible Range Rovers are. So we're just going to finish it off again with the damp towel. Now it may feel slightly sticky for a few seconds. Please don't worry about it. Once it's dried out, it will be so smooth to the point it will feel brand new. That's taken all the greasy sheen off it as well. And you can use an air compressor if you'd rather use that or a car dryer. But in this case today, because it's just a nice basic video, we're just going to be using this dry towel just to follow it up. Okay, so I'm very happy with the way that the steering wheel is now looking. If you did want to take it one step further, you could put a leather barrier on it. And what that's going to do is just protect against some of that dirt. Personally, I don't think they are a massive beneficial thing to have on a steering wheel. Yes, I totally understand it. If you've got cream leather seats, make sure you stick some on there because if you're wearing blue jeans, that dye is gonna run onto it and you just wanna make your life easier for cleaning it. But for things like steering wheels, I just don't quite get it. Now, if you are somebody who enjoys cleaning the inside of your car, and I'm sure that's not gonna be many of you, and you want to know how to do it efficiently and quickly as possible and get the right results, then I have the perfect video waiting for you right here.